Recently I got a code for this motor here being overcurrent. It's no surprise when you got a fan blade scraping the sidewall like that. <laughs> so I'm gonna get in here and just rebuild this whole thing. Look at the play in this bearing right here. Yeah, it's pretty spanked. Not the good way. Getting this ratchet set up. Let me show you what I'm doing here. So, I've got it looped over two blades. And then this one blade here. So I can get a um, pull slash hold point right over the hub. Using a clamp to hold that in place. Now I left my slack. And then used the tag in to secure the uh, you know the ratchet so we're gonna break this hub loose and I'll show you how to do that Look at this right here. It's an eighth inch set screw on a hub that size in a water tower. And I put so much torque on this uh, little wrench here, I thought it was gonna snap off, but these, these Wera hex drivers are absolutely amazing. If I can get that in focus. I got several sets of them, but uh, I've really put them through the test. They have this patented kind of design it's like a spiral-ish kind of thing. It goes in there and grabs the inside because I mean you don't have you don't have much to grab on there. Well, as you can see, that hub came off real hard. Uh, but, old Posi Lock got it. Let's try to get the fan blade off now. What you call a bad bearing <laughs> oh boy look how crusty this thing is nasty i'm working on rebuilding all of this so let me just show you a few things here it's a good idea to draw everything out and take measurements before you go tearing stuff apart now these bearings here this is the way that they lock on. So you've got that hex screw, but then this is kind of like an eccentric design. You see that? So when you take a punch and you hit this ring, it locks that bearing in because it, it shifts this ring off from, from the main bearing race. Over here, I need to get this hub out. It's a little easier to see here uh, versus in the water tower, but with this style of hub, you're just removing the bolts. Now, one of the things that was really stupid about this water tower hub, why not just throw another hole right in there? It's ridiculous. As you can see, this one's done right. We've got three holes that we can use these bolts to press it out but in the case of the water tower 
the hub was really seized so all it did was just press the fan blade backwards and that's where a puller comes in ideally you don't need a puller but looks like we will probably on this one <laughs> let's take a closer look at this posi lock in action these are the best pullers so i'm getting those uh arms kind of firm not totally tight there we go you can when you're dealing with something thick like this you can try to tighten these up but a lot of times it doesn't work that great because the jaws are not parallel to the surface so you get it snug ish and then when you put in the the driving screw it's going to pull everything tight Need a little more pull down in there, so I'm just gonna throw a socket in. I'm gonna lock down this top bearing now, and I've got it exactly where I want it. You can see this locking ring does come off of the bearing. That's where I'm gonna hit it, and then there's the set screw. Just get that on there. I've got the shaft clamped down there so that it can't spin. And we're just going to pop it a few times. locked in now. Now for the bottom one. I'm installing the bearing assembly now. I can't stress enough how important having a, a lady's foot type pry bar is when you line this stuff like this up. It's really nice. And then the shims now. One thing I'm doing here is making sure that the grease lines and everything are in good shape. So this is like a compression fitting then the zerk goes on there and that holds in between this plate. I'm gonna replace these, reuse these, but I'm gonna flush the lines out with fresh grease. Flushing out these lines now. Fresh grease in there. Getting ready to set the fan blade now. But before I do that, I'm just gonna put some zip ties on this belt to hold it on this pulley. Then when I go and put it on the motor pulley, uh, these will just snap off. So this is a good way to get the belt on here uh, if you're working by yourself.
Run it smooth as silk now. All right, she'll live to see another day, I guess.